everyone, and welcome back to Let's Talk Stationery, brought to you by your friends here at JetPens. Thank you all so much for your support and our new series. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Josh. Today, we'll be talking about how we first got into stationery, some of our favorite stickers and stamps, and answering some of your questions. As always, you can find all the product links in the description below. And if you have any topics you'd like us to talk about in the next one, be sure to leave a comment. All right, let's get talking. Stickers and stamps time. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. He's ready. Okay, so this is the, <laughs> all of these are used. <laughs> this is the Sunstar Iro Mikuri. These are so. I love all the colors. I love the color selection. This is the mm -hmm. macaron. <laughs> macaron. This is the macarons. Uh, there's chocolate, there's cheek, there's peacock, there's sher sherbet. Sher sherbet. Mark. Sherbet. Gosh, just. Let's get this money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, look at it. They're so pretty. I thought you would have so, gotten the sherbet. I'm debating, I haven't gotten any yet. I'm debating sherbet, I'm debating oh, chocolate, those I'm aren't debating yours? peacock. No, these are ours that we tested to make sure oh, you can from, write on them. Okay, those are from Writing my product sample. library. This is for real. This is real JetPens in real life where we make sure you can write on these so that you can write on them. JetPens IRL. JetPens IRL. Yep. Uh, probably use an oil based on this. <laughs> it's like, uh, treat it like a washi tape essentially. Stickers that we haven't talked about recently. Oh my God. These are beautiful. These are the live work. I have ABC and one, two, three. There's also holographic. Josh, pop over my face. Pop, holographic. <laughs> the holographic ones. Please also get these. These are the gradation violet. So cute. Okay. So cute. <laughs> so cute. And I had a question listed out in the section when I pulled it up. Mm. What's the deal with sticker decision paralysis? So I'm someone, I'm just going to say straight up. I'm someone I used to suffer from sticker decision paralysis where I was like, oh, no, no, no. I can't, I can't use them. Once you stick it on, it's, that's it, it's over. Yep. So I never would use them. It's not coming back off. Now, as an adult human being, I'm like, life's too short, put the sticker on the thing. I still have sticker paralysis, I just force myself. <laughs> you just, just go for it, just do it, you know what I mean? But, but just make sure that you're sticking it on stuff that you're not gonna get rid of later. <laughs> yeah. But, if you do still suffer from sticker decision paralysis, I get you, I understand. I have something for you also. I have many things. This is the Jam Studio sticker release album. When you open it, hey, guess what? All of this paper, it's like coated. So when you put a sticker on here, you can peel it back off, no problem. So if you wanted to do like your favorite stickers on here or if you have friends that also have stationery that are willing just to share stickers with you, they can go on here. That's really nice. There are many sheets. I can look it up right now, but there are many sheets. There's a lot. Of okay, yeah, that was paper. my next question. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I just looked it up and it's uh, yeah. 51 sided pages for the 50 Jam Studio. 51 sided pages. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with a pocket in the back for like flakes, oh. et cetera. But for me, remember these guys? I've used more <laughs> since the last time because I commit. I commit to the bit. This is the yellow. <laughs> this is normal. This is the long style, I believe. So the Pokemon stickers, if you have this combination, you will notice it is too long. So I just hold it in front. Sadly, I think they are all sold out. It's gone. So <laughs> disregard that. Those are mine to use. But this is basically, so these have little, como se dice? Sleeves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sleeves to hold your stickers. I have my Pokemon stickers are here. Oh, you have more of the Dragonite. Oh. I bought four of them. <laughs> That's another thing. If, if you have sticker paralysis, buy multiples. Just get a bunch of them. Yep. These also come with sticker release paper. So I'll show you. 
Oh. So this was on a bigger, these were from two sets. Now they're on one set. And now I have all ganashi here or no face. So that's that. So this can, so I think these come with three sheets of sticker release paper, the normal mm -hmm. sticker albums. And also it has the thing here. So I have washi tape sample cards in here and smaller sticker flakes. Yeah, I but, agree. If you oh. find something that you want to put a sticker on, don't don't let your paralysis stop you. Don't. Don't yeah. do it. Sorry, put it on I your cut laptop. You off. No, I was gonna try and segue to the stickers that we that the jet pen stickers, because those are very right. popular and you see yes. them all the time. Um Please. as you can see on our on our on our laptops, we have it. Um they are actually available. So um yeah, we have so these for sale on our website. They're actually only a dollar. So if you're only a dollar away from free shipping, slap one on. Um, we few. also have sticker sets. You get one, uh, or you, sorry, you get 12 different stickers. Oh, Jetta. Okay, but which is your favorite though? Oh, which is my favorite? It's a toss up for me. It's between... Yeah. There's the Ink Jetto and the Beach Day Jetto. The ink one's this very one, cute. This one, the Inked Jetto. Because that's me in my everyday life. <laughs> and then there's oh, there's the Beach Jetto. Straight chilling. <laughs> Last one. It, oh, nope, this way. The bunny. Is, cute. Yeah, Easter Bunny Jetto. Yeah. So, ah, oh, it stuck to uh, me. We had a commenter who was who would love to see stamps covered. Here we mm -hmm. go. This is the BGM stamp sets, and I have an acrylic block. So these are the cat ones. This is like cat life and cat something. Super duper cute. And we sold out of the first run of these, but this is now new ones, but these are the BGM clear oh, files. Oh, right. Yes. So the illustration on the back, which maybe will have B-roll, you just slip it in. And also it comes with a pocket in the back for two acrylic blocks. Hmm. Uh, and also keep an eye out on the BGM stamps because sometimes those, they get through, they go through those relatively quickly. So you may want to mm. hop on it in case you see any last chance. It's like, make sure you get it. It's not limited, but, but it, it does have a lifespan. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Then what else do I have? I know we've talked about these, but these things are so freaking cute. These are the iconic stamps. I'm gonna face them towards me because yes. there's no reason to show them towards you. I, I lo love these. Oh. <laughs> we both. Yeah, I love their little things. Their quirky. This person, this person is me. Is that the one where it's like with the book the book yeah, on the face? Just like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like I'm so done with life right now. Yeah. So there's the cat ones, and then there's haru. Haru means day in Korean. Mm -hmm. um, They're also featured in um, the the stamps video, I believe. Yes, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Stamps video. Please watch that video. Mm -hmm. We have a stamps video. We have a stamps uh, a blog all about yes. the best stamps. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So it's question time, question Go and ahead. answer time. I question, Stephanie answers. <laughs> <laughs> Go, hit me okay. with it. So first question up is, mm. I would love to know if the Kokio Mark Plus two-way marker pen smudges gel pens or not. It's pretty broad spectrum. You didn't say smiley face. Of... Smiley face, sorry. <laughs> 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 Thank you, that's what I needed. <laughs> but yeah, the gel pens are pretty broad. I think um, you tested some of the more popular ones, right? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I tested Uniball Signo UM151, mm -hmm. the Zebra Sars Clip, and Pilot mm -hmm. Hitech C. Long story short, uh, I recommend using a gel pen that's formulated for highlighting uh, like the Zebra Sarasa Markon, which is my friend over here. This is the, his pen of choice. Um, or finding a highlighter, like the Mo Zebra Mojini is specifically mm. meant for mm -hmm. a better highlighting experience that mm -hmm. reduces smudging, things like that. Um, yeah. Or if you can write with the, since it's the two way, use the fine liner side 
highlight it with the highlighter side. So the next one is、uh, from another viewer. I've been wondering、mm-hmm. what the best inks slash brands are for fountain pen inks. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I literally typed in there in here too broad, too broad. and too subjective. <laughs> yep. And then so the best way for me in my experience is to try a lot of ink.、Mm-hmm. This is kind of the only way that you'll know based on the pens that you have what works, what doesn't. What are you looking for?、Mm-hmm. Sheen, shimmer,、mm-hmm. shading. What kind of paper are you using? I don't know. So、mm-hmm. the, all these factors go into it. Yep, they、But、all work in tandem. The, the best answer I could come up with is trying as lot as much as possible. And、mm-hmm. for us, for me, what I think would be good is if you got little bottles. So this is the. I'm looking at videographer song because the French is gonna come out. <laughs> Gerba. <laughs> Gerba. <laughs> Gerba. Or you could just say J Urban. Gerba. I have green green nuage. Green nuage. Say it louder so that they.、Oh、green nuage.、Uh, green nuage. Ah,、oh, so nice. She sounded like um like uh when you do the Google Translate. The Google Voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting back to the point though, these are only ten mil. Ten、mm. mil is like nothing. Fifty mil is a lot.、Mm-hmm. You committing to Sukiyo, I, my stomach like went. Oh. oh, I will have that for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, so. These are good, huge color selection. These are very well behaved inks. I stand by them. I know Pearl Noir, Pearl Noir. Please, <laughs> videographer Todd didn't like the way I said it. Pearl Noir. <laughs> the black ink is very popular、oh、amongst the fountain pen community. I,、hmm. I've tried it only once. I liked it.、Um, as someone who likes Takasumi, I like Pearl, Pearl Noir also. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have the Pilot Oroshizuku combo assorted packs. We have a few of those, but yeah, try a lot of ink. See if you have any friends that are into fountain pens.、Um, mm-hmm. We sell the、uh, pack of two mil samples. There are seven of them. So if you have friends, just we call it taking a sip. <laughs> just take two mil so that you can test it in like one or two of your pens and see if you like it. So Stephanie, <laughs> yes, just looking into the camera, not even at you. <laughs> <laughs> just forget about them. Talk to me, Josh. What's up? <laughs> All right. So,、okay, uh, I don't know about you, but I started to get into stationery at a young age, and like it just kind of fluctuated through my life. Like it, I wasn't like into stationery my whole life, but I think the first time. I would have to say was when I was young from a number of things, but mainly, probably the same way most kids got introduced to it, which was through Sanrio, at the Sanrio store. I didn't have a Sanrio store. <laughs> you didn't have one. We I had the Disney store. Wait, I don't. Well, we had the Disney store too, but you didn't have an actual Sanrio store. Not from what I can or or like a、uh, some of them are like like the Tokyo Tokyo store or oh, no oh that's sad. So when did you first experience Sanrio then? Like I knew of like there was like a like a Sanrio kiosk at my main mall where like okay so there was at least a kiosk. There wasn't like a store that like. Like when I think of like a store, I think of like the Disney, store, like a specialty store in the mall for、mm. stuff. I did not have that. Well, at my mall, based on like how small this store was, it basically was just like a kiosk and a half.、Mm. <laughs> I see. Okay. All right. I don't feel、yeah. as bad now. That's fine. But yeah, like I guess、um, we had the Sanrio stores, and like my favorite. Was always Pachaco, so whenever we、mm. went in there, I would always buy like Pachaco stuff.、Mm. And I remember having this Pachaco pencil box, 
back when we called them pencil boxes from the mm-hmm. 90s. Because that's um, what they were. Because that's what they were. <laughs> um, and then, so it was like purple and like semi-translucent. And I'll probably pop up a um, photo here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that was kind of like my first introduction to like cutesy Japanese stationery. But I think a little before that, my dad actually, uh, he was in charge of like ordering supplies for his department. Mm -hmm. And um, he would always order these, uh, I think they're the Pentel Sharp pencils and it comes in... 0.9 0.9 millimeter lead it's like a yellow mechanical pencil and he used to take them home and i would always steal them from his desk because i loved using them to draw because um yeah so like <laughs> i i'm very heavy-handed so mm. like 0.5 millimeter and even 0.7 would always break under like my hand pressure but then when it came to the 0.9 millimeter like it was sturdy so i loved using that mechanical pencil yeah I used to, um, I used to have, uh, what's it called? Power Rangers VHS tapes. And then I would look at the VHS tape and I would draw their helmets. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This must have been like when I was like five or six years old. That's the most <laughs> precious thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of like my first, um, introduction into the stationary world. Um, mm. Did you have anything when you were like younger that you I yeah were so to? like you like I kind of fluctuated um when I was younger like I wasn't as into stationery um but I do remember 90s kids remember Sakura Jelly Roll when that yes. first came on the scene mm-hmm. ooh and the Pentel Milky they have upgraded that formula by the way or I I don't know if it's the same formula but we, they now have the Pentel Hybrid Milky I'm very tempted. We all should add the cart. But um, <laughs> um, a lot of the time, you remember those uh, like artist kits? Like they would fold yes. open and there'd be like oil pastels, crayons, pencils, markers, and it, none of it would be usable. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they would be like partially dried out already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a lot of those in my childhood. Um, hmm. I had a lot of notebooks. I had a lot of stamps, but I didn't really, like I didn't love stationery the way I love stationery now. Like it was a fun thing to Mm. do, but it wasn't Mm -hmm. like the thing for me. Hey everyone, Future Josh here. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for your support. And don't forget to click the like button as that lets us know what types of videos you all are interested in. So Stephanie and I go on a while about this topic, but if you want to see the rest of that conversation where we talk about stationery in high school and college, let us know in the comments below. Okay. And that's all we have for today. Be sure to use the links in the description below to shop all the products that we mentioned. And as always, leave a like and share this video with a friend. Also, if you have any back to school related questions, let us know in the comments below and we might get to some of them in the next one. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You see them? They were back here this whole time. (laughs) So cute. Look at that boy. Look at him. These are my These are them, my children. You have many children. (laughs) I, listen. (laughs) I don't have any physical children. These are my physical children. Where did you get them? I got them them in Pokemon Center, Mega Tokyo. Tokyo. Whoa, okay, okay. When I went. Every time I talk about Tokyo, that's the Tokyo trip. That was that one time where I got my zebra. That one time, just the one time. That one time, just the one time. I haven't been back since. That's it then. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. Fixing my hair a million times. Farewell, friends. Thanks for watching. Farewell for real. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Stephanie's parents.